Yeah, man. Now, shit, you reached out because we did a we did an interview with Nick from the DFW Battle League. You know what I'm saying? And you were saying like a couple of things was a little off. Yeah. So tell, let us know, man. What you what, from that interview? What did you What did you not like about it? I mean, what, the the most part I like about it, I feel like he didn't he didn't he didn't explain to the people, you know, what's missing, what's really missing. You know okay. what I'm saying? They leave like DFW Battle League, man. They got they got a lot of hard hitters. Like, there's no doubt the talent that they got. They got a lot of talent. And on my on my thing is it's like uh, they didn't push their brand, bro. They didn't push their brand. You're in Dallas. You got you know you got Dallas, Arlington, Grand Prairie. For you got all for work. It's a market. They didn't push they you know the battlers. I used to go to that battle. They had a couple of great events. I've been to a couple. I was a part of a couple of events. I done battled mayhem. The mayhem I went to. Uh, that battle, that, that event was crazy. It was packed. That's the pack of the event. So I thought they, I thought they would build off of that. You know what I'm saying? It, it really didn't build off of that from my, from what I seen. You know, I, I missed a couple of events. Maybe they didn't got better. I don't know. Yeah. But my thing is, it seemed like they were more surviving, not striving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. staying afloat. Just hey, you know. But uh, I agree. You know, because yeah. I, I went to a lot. Like I said, like Killer. That's my own boy. Mm -hmm. I was at a lot of. Of the early stages of the yeah. battle league, seeing like the different venues, yeah. the different crowds, and then, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like DFW Battle League at a point in time, it was it was hot in this area, yeah. like in the Arlington area for sure. Yeah, like in Arlington is like a, a hidden gem in the DFW. A lot of people, like a lot of people, know about Arlington, but don't know about Arlington. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Outside of Texas. Yeah. So like they like I said, like, I agree with you. Like I feel like it, it could have been a lot of better branding. And marketing and just structure. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I ain't mean to cut you off. No, you good. You good because you know you tell it. You, you speaking facts, man. I, I mean, I seen it firsthand. Like from DFW. Okay, the two battle leagues here: DFW Battle League, and you got Live from the Block. Okay, when did Live from the Block come around? Was they before or after DFW Battle League? I'm thinking DFW Battle League. I'm don't quote me. I'm thinking they was first. Live from the block. No, no, no. I'm thinking, oh, okay, okay. But I think they came right after because I got a, I got hit up by Osama. It may have been 2013, 14. I'm thinking right now, but I know DFW Valley was voting. So they may have been there first. Live from the block, man, they, you know, and DFW Valley. I feel like. They they want I, I feel like either league wasn't big enough to just be like, hey, we hey fuck y'all, we doing our thing. Hey, fuck y'all, we doing our thing. Yeah. I feel like whether if it was beef or or, or, or we better than y'all, prove it. Yeah. Bring the city together. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Y'all bring y'all bring Fort Worth. Y'all bring that. Y'all can have two of his one. Y'all can have here. Y'all can have a part two over there. You know what I'm saying in Fort Worth. Yeah. But it's. They never really came to terms on it. I mean, they didn't have some mixed battles from each league, but they never really came to terms on it. And I, I fuck with Osama. He, he's the uh, owner of uh, Life on the Block. And I fuck with Nick, Hero. I mean, I don't know who owned it. <laughs> I mean, because sometimes Hero says his, and you yeah. know, Nick says yeah. his. I don't know what the situation on that. I never really got involved in that. But um, I fuck with both. I, I don't went to a few of it. I feel like, I feel, I don't know, man. It just, it just didn't feel right. They events, man. And I feel like they could have been bigger. And I tried to tell them one time they argued. I was like, man, people don't know who y'all are, bro. They don't even know. They don't know that y'all got this. You want, oh, oh, yeah, but we had this many people. But you want to be consistent. Because right now, Houston barcode. Yeah, like, and I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I'm glad you said that. Because not only did I find out about battle rappers when I went to a Houston barcode event in Houston, but I found out about local rappers, local talent. Like, that I would have never, like, like, Houston, Houston barcode battle raps are like fucking concerts. Concerts, yeah, it's like it's a good, good venue. Yeah. It, it's packed out. 
it's just a good vibe. Like it, it, it's just, it's 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 and it, it, it's lit, bro. It's just sad. I ain't gonna say it's sad, but it's like I know the I see the potential you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, and like when I first got a pen tattoo, I moved to Abilene. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I moved toward Dallas because I was really getting into battle rap. I said, I need to get to, I'm gonna get to the city because I didn't like traveling way over there to Houston or to wherever I was battling. So I, I moved, I moved to Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I, I really got into it. You know what I'm saying? But I was mainly battling. Like I said, we had our own lead, tested battle lead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, those were the original hitters. Come from you got the gutter, you got the staff Wallace, you got G Jet. I mean, these dudes is. Killers, you know what I'm saying? Like, G.J. been on BT before, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. was on, uh, when they had the 106 Apart Freestyle Pride, you know? Yeah, yeah. All that good stuff, and they branched off. A lot of people branched off, started their own lead, like uh, Scotty and um, Stats G to win a killer battle. Okay, okay. And uh, they went over, they started, you know, doing their own thing with Houston Barcode. And that's what I always used to preach for, because people were like, I want to battle this person. I want to see this battle this man. Start your own league. Okay, now while we talking about Scotty and DFW Battle League, do you think Killer will crush Scotty in the battle? Okay, I'm gonna tell you on this one. I feel like bar for bar, Killer can beat, will beat Scotty. Yeah, bar for bar, Scotty got star power. Okay, Scotty can turn the crowd against you. Like I done seen Scotty battle people and. They be ba 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 lyrical, lyrical, lyrical. Scotty don't lose, man. Even when he lose, he don't lose. Yeah. Because the crowd loves him. You know what I'm saying? Scotty got, it's just some people that just got that, that, that star power. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because Killer, I could, you put Killer in front of a lot of people. Killer just, he, if, if he get all three rounds off, he going through him. He going through him, right? Now Kill. see, I I didn't want to just throw y'all like yeah. that, man, but that, that's my yeah, guy. He trying to that, battle Scott. He say he ducking him, so I, I, I try to give him the one up. You yeah, know but you know, no, that but that's battle rap. I love that. That's the part of battle rap that's fun when people are like, hey, you think so and so. You know, and that's how a lot of matches come together. Come together. That's how it is. You know, and you know, like when I started battle rap, it was the hardest part. But we when we were building it because people were like acapella battle rap. They ain't rapping to no beat. That what we heard every time, all time. Oh, I ain't going, I'm rap. Oh, I ain't going, I'm going, I ain't going. But you know, when we started throwing events in my city, it was easy for me. I just get the hood to come out. Yeah. Say, say, man, I'm battling, man. Tonight. Oh, yeah? Are oh, we there? They come out. And it's just getting them there to the events. Yeah. Because you get them to the events, they get hooked. Yeah. Like, Damn, this is now, I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, I'm not just the biggest battle rap yeah. fan. And sometimes the events be long as hell. <laughs> I hate that, bro. I hate that too, bro. Like me, I, I tell, I used to tell them when I when I'm on an event, and they be like, "Oh, you going? You gonna rap? Like you, you toward the end? You probably the man." I used to think, I, I need, let me go second or third, cause yeah. I, cause I know standing there, you be like, oh, that's why when I when we do a battle match, we have probably five max. Okay, you know five, five battle max because. I know people trying to bat, see the battle, move around, hit the clubs, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how it was, you know? Yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure. Now, uh, like, I don't, like, like I said, I'm not just really big into yeah. to battle rap. I don't know if, I don't feel like Smack and URL is just at its height and peak like it was yeah. a few years ago. Do you feel like battle rap is like kind of dying out, or do you feel like it's we need what 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 do you think like the battle rap scene is missing to just make it like fire again? I mean, on the contrary, though, I think honestly, I think URL is like they they don't reached they're not just battle rap a bit they don't they don't reach where they get big sponsors they just got a big merger right now. Pay per view, smack making man, smack making money. They yeah. pay per view is crazy. It's fifty dollars for they pay. It's like you paying for a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They do pay per view. They selling out like a big ass events. So their level is different. Like now they got their their battle rappers are a superstar now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They battle rappers are. I mean, yeah, everybody had wilding out and shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Doing stuff with BT, MTV, yeah. e even ESPN, DNA, and was rapping on ESPN. You know. It, it's it, it's just like man, that's the NBA of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. the other leagues, are, it is really like G leagues or street ball. You know what I'm saying? And 
I feel like it's a lot of people that are trying to, you know, that that's everybody's dream when they battle rap. Man, I'm trying to make it to URL. I try to get on the URL stage. That was never my intention. My intention was to to compete with them. Yeah. My contention was like the XFL to the NFL. That's how I felt. Like we let's, let's try to compete with them. That was always me and my boy Waters focus. Like, man, we trying to be as big as them. And that's why I'm so proud of Houston Barcode to like from uh, we gave Scotty his very battle. And he built from there. I remember people said, oh, Scotty came. He came, man. He don't got bars like that. He ain't. People used to tell me that. I mean, watch be like, watch Scotty. Because Scotty always, he always focused on branding. Branding his name. He always he promoting and, and putting himself out there. That's how I knew. I'm like, yeah, Scotty. Him and that's G. And, you know, the boys, they've been on the URL stage more than once. You know what I'm saying? But Scotty brought it home and he's made his city. His city wasn't a battle. We threw a battle rap in Houston before Houston people threw battle rap in Houston. Okay. We threw them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Scotty built that city to where everybody fucks with battle rap. Yeah, you know a lot saying? of people know him that's not even affiliated with battle rap. I could say that. You know, Scarface, then today events, and you know, we got names coming like that, and that's that's what I was trying to tell them. I said, man, bro, if you gotta throw, I don't care, yelling B Z. Mo three, a couple of rats to do a walkthrough or come through just to host two or three battles, bro, do it. Cause once once they tweet about it or post it on IG or put it on Facebook, everybody be like, well, shit, let me see what they talking about. Yeah. It's that easy, you know what I'm saying? They just gotta know it's there. Yeah. And you know, and, and, and like Nick, I, I love Nick, but I feel like I feel like I honestly feel like they dropped the ball with that. Cause the battle, the battle is on DFW is live. I love. It. I go to events. I still go to events. You know. Okay. But I just feel like I just feel like they just they dropped the ball. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they dropped the ball, and, and it still ain't too late. You know. All right, man. So shit, let's people know where we can follow you at, man. Do you got any battles coming up? Oh, um, I post to have a battle coming up uh, uh, in Denver for um, for 420 on 420. Denver, so just get, get the money right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get the money right, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. All right, man, appreciate you coming sit down and uh, talk man, to us, man. You gave us a lot man. of games. Shout out to Dallas Global, man. Shout out to everybody, man. You know, everybody battle rap, man. Let's keep, keep it popping, man. You know what I'm saying?